coming up in the future in terms of working uh, with Magnetic I'm do- Man? Uh, well, Magnetic Man's got another album, yep. and then I'm doing a, another project with a guy called Matt Playford. Yep. Um, and uh, we're we're doing this uh, like kind of like it, we're doing a, a shotgun EP. So it's it's like it's gonna be out later on in the year. Um, and then uh, well, it's just the stuff with Matt Playford, and then the Magnetic Man things. Yeah. That's great. Any artists that you're going to be working with that we can get excited about? Um, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, the Magnetic Man album sounds interesting, you know, like because um, last time, you know, you had sort of people like Kate B, you had John Legend. Yeah, we did. Surprise some people as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The John Legend connection. Well, hopefully, we got like we we got a few special artists. Um, Matt Playford's gonna like help out on the uh, on the album as well. So it's yeah. like yeah, it's gonna be like yeah. Is it different the second time around? Do you get that kind of sophomore album, that kind of nervousness? Oh, fucking right. It's like, yeah, it's proper. <laughs> Especially it's Magnetic Man album, that, you know, your first album was such a smash. And unexpected, maybe. It's really fucking weird because it's like, it's one of those things that, that we did it as like, that everyone said, oh, it's the first dubstep fu- album, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you have to, you know, like, this is the sur- first dubstep super it really, group. It, it really set the scene. It was, and now you get though. fucking dubstep on um, on every TV channel. You know what I mean? They're like, you yeah. put an advert on the TV and it's got dubstep on it. So, like... Taylor Swift doing a bit dubstep. Yeah, right? it's absolutely mad. And it's like, as, as uh, Matt Playford said, it's um, it's it's just... Because it's everywhere, you've got to try and move somewhere else. You know what I mean? So, it's diff- yeah. this album is trying to be about something... Something different so yeah. every time we make a record if it sounds like something else or it sounds like a different genre we just like fuck it off so it's move. hard right it's hard that second it's, round yeah it's great so much pressure of course it is yeah but I guess uh, does it get easier the second round round not in terms of the pressure but in terms of right I want to do this or I'm going to work with this artist and is it easier than yeah see we've got, we've got more doors background. open to us yeah. but it's still like you're it's harder because you've got your own the first album is 10 years in the making mm. This one is like and no pressure. Right? Do it now. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it, that's we've been sort of like we've made sort of 50, 50 tracks and fucked them all off. You know what I mean? Just yeah. keep going. No, no, no. And it, now we've got like I mean we're sort of halfway. We've got like six or seven tracks now that are like definite. That's going on there. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of 